Right, okay, as for the, um, this, the 32X, was ribbon cables replaced from a guy in America that I had one of the power on, so, got a new ribbon cable for that. As for this, uh, let's be there, it's for the, uh, right on, I think. Oh, you can see, I think, better. Um, spindle, uh, motor. Um, her battery lifted up slightly, cleaned up, and everything's all done. Um, 32X has all been weaned in, everything's all done now. So we're powering on, and then obviously, it's just load off. So, here yeah, we may have a drive flash card there. So, here we are. Um, select game. I'm just going to click play game because I've got a game already on there. Yes, OS. 17 is a server drive flash card again in the US as well. Um, guy called, named Chris did it, and uh, here is Nichols Cortex. So, your old 32x system is actually working again. It's exactly the same unit you sent me, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, there she is, all working. Go, and she works. As far as I'm concerned, that works slash. Right now, I have two games to show you, and I'll to make them um, Luna and my PAL game Sonic CD. I'm going to show you this working on this system. You're not going to believe your eyeballs. So, watch this. Go in here now. I'm obviously using my PAL controller, which is nice with the red buttons. Um, Right, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to select game, go to BIOS, um, they got JAP, USA, PAL, and Russell's Region 3 CD BIOS, dot bin. Now I'm going to start, and then I'll raise and patch, and then it should boot up. Now we're in a weird BIOS mode, which is so weird. <laughs> right, we're in a PAL BIOS mode now. Um, what we'll do, I'm going to put my PAL game in to this CD unit. Um, so you can see my PAL game's in there. And now, okay, I'm going to just reset this system. Um, And press the start button. So here we have a select CD booting up on an American uh, modified console. It's not modified, no switches, no nothing modified to it at all. Just plug it in and boots. So that's cool. Yeah? My PAL game working straight away. No messing around. All because of that one flash card. Cool. Now, she goes. Yay! Yep, she can work slash. Right, okay, I'm gonna do the same, but with the um, American game this time. Hey, so. Run. You gotta listen to Dad. Just give me a second, mate. Yes? Yes, Luce? about that um it always happens every time I yeah, add just, just gotta do something uh, we haven't had um okay so here's the game go straight in there um this time I'm gonna select the USA BIOS not the region free one it'll work but uh I'll go to a select game if I get any uh go to USA BIOS I'm going to see if we can put the CDX BIOS in there. Just for a laugh, see what happens. Let's do that. I'm going to flash the USA BIOS, CDX BIOS. Don't know if it'll work. Ooh. I'm going to just what we have. So the CDX BIOS does work. It's just a bit iffy. Okay. So. But, um. 
select game by us. And I'll go straight to that region 3 1. Um, now that'll pl pl patch, patch and all the have got to do. Um, we press the ad. It loads. Game. Um, yep. Sorry about uh, that earlier on. Uh, but there we go. That's what happens. Um, so, yeah. I think you shouldn't do it on that screen, but there we go. <sighs> Use a sheet. I'm glad you've seen that. You can have a look at my uh, console collection. Um, it's a Mega CD, stick of sound, a box, a Mega Drive, that one I'm acquired, all original packaging. That one I've got the original packaging, not the uh, Mega CD, I haven't. But, um, you call them Sega CDs over there, but there we go. Um, the games I do have now have a copy of an original Cortex. Which I'm not acquired because there's a new retro game shop around the corner. Um, so yeah, okay. There's a lot there, you know, obviously. There's that, uh, and that, and the faulty unit up there. It's just be sold in there. Uh, I have an Amiga CD32 under repair for someone else. My brother's Xbox, and his PS3, worldwide VCR, my DVDR. Got a DVD HDV recorder. My dad's weird, just shot it out. A few bits and bobs, my bottle of Eddie's fixing. A few other bits and bobs, so let's just stop this a minute. Right, as for this, um, yep, so she fully works, boots, games, everything, so I'll show you this now with the ordinary, just ordinary bog standard BIOS. Um, no cartridge in there. She works less. Yes. Cling, cling, cling. She works again. Okay. Thanks to me. Shouldn't borrow my first had it, but so I'm sort of the mechanism, sort of everything. Which most people don't know how to do. I'll say I'm a smart ass, but some people go, I don't know how to do it. Just give it to me. Fix the hey. But uh, there we go. Show works. Beautiful works perfect. So I'll uh, leave it in and thanks to it. Sorry for the long wait, but it took me ages to actually get the parts for the 32 x I was the CC there, but I first had that, I was done within a day. But um, that's where everything else has all been cleaned up and uh, be well looked after. Huh? Um, as you can see, the grey cable you gave me, I didn't keep that. Well, I kept it, but I used an official one. Cable. Which I do have a power uh, 32X and then Here's what a power mega drive looks like. Um, obviously, yours is a Genesis, but this is a mint condition one. Obviously, it's dusty, a little bit dusty. This is a mint condition. And uh, this one was built in 92. Um, we have a thing over here called um, Second Group, or whatever you call it. Um, they're just like um, all the inspected stuff. Weird serial numbers, but um, as the PAL units, you can super VHS for them quite easy than the Genesis. Uh, the Genesis. But as for. Genesis, they can be modded, but not bad to do. I was thinking I'm thinking having all the switch just modded. Cost me a bit of money. And this is even quite a loading too, done fast loading times. Than the PAL. Somehow they've done that, I don't know. Take care, dude.